It is now time to go over to the track. A reminder, the first on track, women's 400 metres T20 final. This is Karina Paim of Portugal, one of the fastest losers, her major championship debut, just 17 years of age. Next to her, Katarina Husakova, personal best to reach the final here. Seventh in the 800 metres in Doha. This is Barbara Navidzel, gold in the 1500 on Saturday, won the second semi-final with one minute flat, has been under one minute this season. Piroska Chantos of Hungary, just outside the medals in Doha last year, finished fourth. Arleta Mello, who broke the championship record in her semi before Navidzel went and broke it again. She will run her close, make no mistake about that. This is Sabina Stenka, her major championship debut at the age of 30, second in the second semi-final she finished. Kerestesi of Hungary, silver in Swansea two years ago, going pretty well this season as well. And this on the outside is Ilona Biacci, also of Hungary. Silver medal in the 1500, lost her European title in that competition. So another chance to make amends here. Got bronze in Swansea. That's Barbara Navidzel. Her main rival, Arleta Melek, in five. The two Polish athletes seeking a one-two, but which order will it be? Sabina Stenka, don't rule her out either. Look good in the semi-finals. That is Stenker in your foreground. Just to the left there was uh, Arleta Meloch. Set. So Polish one, two, three, a possibility here. Here we go then, the women's 400 metres, T20. And a good start already in lane three for Barbara Nevizel, already making up ground and going past Santos. Nevizel comes into the back straight and looks very comfortable at the moment. Such a terrific runner to watch, very upright, very square runner indeed. And Barbara Navidzel is making up ground on all of the athletes outside her as well. Navidzel, the reigning world champion. Her first appearance in the European Championships and she looks very good here to add a European title to her incredible haul. It's the shortest distance she competes over. Here goes Navidzel into the home straight. Barbara Navidzel is streaking clear here. Sabina Stenka going well in lane six. Can she hold on for silver? Navidzel is going to come through and win this by a country mile. Keep an eye on the clock. Keep an eye on the clock. Stenka gets silver on the line. I think Pironka, Piroska Shontas got the bronze. Terrific run by Navidzel. Just to wait, official confirmation of the time from her, but that was a world champion's performance. 57.99 it was for Navidzel, just outside her lifetime best, which is the world record of 57.78. It's a championship record for Barbara Navidzel, a brilliant athlete, and the competition at the T20 just intensifies all the more, especially now that we've got another pole who's up winning major championship medals with Sabina Stenka getting the second 59.52. Santos has been given third. It was very, very tight there. Navizzi will take it and Stenka in second and third. Santos dipping just in ahead of Kereshti. Melok was in fifth place. No stopping it. It's a second gold medal here. One for Melek as well, who finishes down in fifth place. And it's another major championship gold after winning three at the World Championships in Doha. No stopping her here. Brilliant from Barbara Navizzo. It's a great, strong finish for Santos. There are the three Polish athletes in there. Arleta Melok will be disappointed that her two compatriots will be on the podium. She won't be. Because Poroska Santos beat 
her fellow Hungarian Erika Kerestesi on the line. There is confirmation then, a championship record, 57.98. It's been rounded down to for Nevidzel. Silver for Stenka and a season's best for bronze for Santos.